both buttons and, and features the mist and the light function independently, all right? You don't need light for mist and you don't need mist for light. Uh, the button on the left, it has a little water droplet. That's for mist. The button on the right has the, the light and that's for light. Uh, from off, a single press goes to high light. A second press goes to low light. And a third press goes to candle flicker, okay? One more press will go off, from off, press and hold to go into rainbow mode. Now this will cycle through colors. Tell me a color that's not purple. Teal. Green. Teal. Green. Okay. The reason why I say not purple is because purple is the color that comes up after blue. So we'll see starting to fade into a purple right now. See that? Yeah. All right. So we'll go to green and teal respectively. All right. So from color cycle mode, one press of the light puts us into color select mode. Now it is going to stay on this pink until I select a different color, or if I turn it off. Pink, red, orange, kind of orange, yellow, there's green, there's a darker green, there's kind of a teal. You said there's 16? 16 color modes, yeah. So 12 selectable colors, highlight, low light, candle flicker, and rainbow cycle mode. Um, from any mode, press and hold, and it turns off. Okay? Now let's talk about the mist. So from off, the single uh, press turns it into high. See? See it's already come in? You guys see that? So, instantly. Um, from high, a press will go into low. Now, this builds up here, so you don't immediately see the level drop. There, it kind of drop right there. So now it's in low. Well, first, I'm getting ahead of myself. When you're in high mode, you get four hours of runtime, and then the water runs out. When you're in low mode, you get eight hours of runtime. From low mode, if you press one more time, it'll go into intermittent mode, which is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So that'll give you about eight hours of runtime. Okay, press and hold, turn off, and press one more time to turn it back on. And it automatically and kicks off once you run out of water. When you run out of water, the nebulizer will turn off, so it's not gonna overheat. Actually, this thing never overheats. If you put your finger in the water right now, it'd be slightly warm. And I've been having, I've had these run for about, my phone turned off, about six hours. And they uh, said there was a mode where the mist will go on and off and on and off. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's, inter a, that's, the, that's the intermittent, yeah, intermittent. okay. So high, low, intermittent. Okay. Uh, you said 30 seconds and how, on, 30 seconds on. Yep, and how right. long did he say that would Eight run? Hours. Eight hours, okay. Eight hours. Yep. Because it's, it's going off and then on the high, correct? It is, yeah. Okay. okay. So it kind of split the difference, you get you know, eight hours. Uh, yeah, and, and so even when the nebulizer turns off, the light will still turn on or stay on. So you can use this kind of like a nightlight sort of scenario for your kids. You know, put some nice, calm, soothing scent in. Uh, you can even add less water than the max fill line. So add a little bit of water, it lasts for about an hour. It gives time for your kid to fall asleep. Here's the next oh, yeah. Uh, kid falls asleep, but then he wakes up in the middle of the night and he's kind of startled. Well, he still has the night light on. And you said um, the oils, you did say they're all natural, all of them. Yep. Okay. I'm just trying to get on video. Yeah, yeah. What else? Rubber gasket holds the, the outer. Yeah, it gives it kind of a sure fit. So you, you, can, you can feel you're welcome to pick it up and. They'll take this off or else it'll slosh water in places. But. Can you tell us one more time about the base for the, the base, yeah. video? I'm sorry. Anodized aluminum and a laser cut logo. Okay. I didn't want to do plastic because plastic is, is cheap and, and kind of basic. I wanted the materials when I designed this to speak of the quality that they represent. Okay. okay. When you're pouring water into your diffuser, where do you not want water to get? You don't want water to get in here. Underneath the Yeah. Now when you're just pouring water, that's the fan inlet, or outlet. Here's the inlet, here's the outlet. Yeah, when you're pouring water, it has this shade, so it's not likely you're going to be able to get water in there. But you'll never want to, like, pour water out this way, because it might, like, catch on and go in. That's what the spout is here for, okay? For the water. You don't ever want to submerge the so unit in the water. So we can dump the water out if it has oil in it we don't want to use anymore that's still in there? Oh, you can dump it out. Just dump it out from this side. Okay. On the spout side. Okay. 
and then for cleaning purposes, just recommend wipe it out with a rag. Yeah, just just fresh water, and yeah, a little wet a, a rag is fine. If you start to notice calcium buildup, the mineral buildup on the nebulizing disc, just take a cotton swab, with a little water in the diffuser, and just swab it out. It'll come out really easily. Uh, yeah, it's it's simple. For me. So you can use you can use your hard water. You can use your well water. If you have a source of distilled water, uh, like a reverse osmosis system or something, you know, it's even easier, right? It means you have to clean it less often. Yeah, we live in the We live out in the big And so the big difference in these and the others is the lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty quality, and also I encourage you to go on to Google and search oil diffuser and okay. look at the images, and then. I mean, email me back and say, Mark, I found oh, yeah, Mark, I found nice. four I found four diffusers that I would feel comfortable putting on my uh, putting putting on my counter for home decor, right? And the truth is, you're going to find very few diffusers that act as home decor pieces as well. Okay. This this, this diffuser as a, is as beautiful when it's not being used as it is. When it is being right. Used. Okay. So that's pretty much everything we need to know, correct? All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it.